Controversy surrounding the contaminated sanitary pads, said to have devastating effects, have received mixed reactions among some women in Lusaka. The counterfeit pads are said to have effects such as sores, vaginal thrush, and to some extent resulting into cervical cancer. And women have challenged the government to seriously regulate operations at all border ports to keep the unscrupulous act. The distribution of these pads, because they are a health hazard to us ladies. If they are going to bring vaginal thrush and cancer, it means our women are going to be dying and we really don't want that. People importing that they should be stopped because you know it's not safe. After you finish your period, that can affect you later on. It can be there and dead, but it can affect your infertility and everything like that. A non-governmental organization coordinating council, chairperson Beatrice Grillo, is equally bewildered over the matter. Mrs. Grillo says health matters are imperative and needs tangible solutions. How many of our women have had to go through this without even knowing what is causing it? We are spending, the country is spending so much money and we are fighting cervical cancer. Our first leader has been going out championing this. And now we have got people who are bringing products in that cause cervical cancer. She however notes that sanitary pads are not the only counterfeit products on the Zambian market. So many women must have gone to the hospital with these irritations. Mm -hmm. And they were not properly checked to see what is causing the irritation. I'm sure somebody just gave them some painkiller or some, you know, some drugs and that's it and many features have been highlighted to distinguish the counterfeit sanitary pads from genuine ones while africa is grappling to stop the influx of counterfeit products dumped in the continent it is imperative for governments to show political will over this matter prudence mulenga movie tv news lusaka